Hi, hello. My name is Kevin Brewer. I'm the Northeast Technical Manager with ArborJet. And today we're going to be rebuilding a couple quick jet airs. Um, just going over that start to finish and, um, you know, just checking them out and getting them to work like new again. All right, so I, we're going to be rebuilding the quick jet air today. Um, I recommend you go through this and do a, do a complete rebuild once a season. Um, you know, here in New England, winter's the perfect time for it. And it just makes sure you get off to a good start in the spring with no surprises of, um, you know, fouled up equipment or any malfunctions. So throughout the season, you know, at the end of every day, you want to um, clean the equipment. So to do that, typically what you would do is just kind of give it a, a triple rinse. So you would just run water through it to get the chemical out. Um, and then you would run the clean jet through it. And then you would run water through it after that and then just run it out so it's just, just air in the gun. And that would be your daily maintenance. All right, so a couple things you want to gather before you get started on the rebuild is you want to make sure you've got some paper towels for cleaning things. Um, we suggest you use Molly Coat and Crytox for the lubricants on the Quick Jet Air. Uh, a little bit of clean jet, um, 7 16 and a 9 16 wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, um, you're going to want some nitrile gloves, and um, that's about it, and the little Allen wrench that comes with the kit. And you're going to have your uh, Quick Jet Air rebuild kit, which has all the seals and O-rings that you'll need for the uh, entire kit, for all the seals in the gun, the bottle cap, and for the air tank. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just um, completely disassemble the gun, get all the old seals and O-rings off. Um, so to get started on that, first I just take off the little handle on the bottom, just so it's a little easier to work with. And then to take the front, the barrel off the gun, you pull back on this collar on the uh, quick connect for the hose. And we're just going to slide that right out of the body of the gun. And then to take the nose cone off, right here is um, just a, a collar that we want to unscrew, so we just want to grab the whole thing and just unscrew that. And then we can pop that barrel right off. The piston just unclips from the, the ball on the um, body of the gun. So we want to back that off. We're going to grab a 9 16 wrench. In the body of the gun, there's one more O-ring on the adjuster for the back. And then on the piston itself, there's a, a little cup seal there that we're going to replace. And we are also going to clean and lubricate the trigger on the gun mechanism. So we're just going to take off two screws. And then we can take our trigger assembly off. You might need to get the pick on there, they can get a little stuck. They can just get a little bit of debris in there, as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to pop these old seals off. One there. Take that spring right off. Take that cup seal off. And there's one on the inside of that glass barrel in the body of the gun and then on the other side of this sometimes that glass can be a little tricky to get out of there it can get a little sticky all right so then we're going to take the uh, glass cylinder out of the nose piece and there is one seal on the other side of that so I'm gonna pop that out and that is all the O-rings and seals in the, in the quick jet air. So you've got the cup seal, the O-ring for the back of the adjuster, and um, one flat seal for either side of the uh, glass barrel. So now we're just going to give everything a little, a little cleaning. You can see this quick jet's treated many a tree in its day. It has uh, been to war a few times, but it'll work like new still. These things will pretty much last forever if you, if you do your maintenance and uh, just rebuild them every year. Did forget one, there's one O-ring on this piston itself. Could pop that off of there. All right, so now it's time to start the uh, reassembly process. So the first thing is we take a little bit of the um, 
molly coat. And right on the actual actuator there that is the trigger, we're just going to put a little dab of the molly coat on there. And then on the trigger itself on the bottom, I just do three little dots on the base of that piece. The little notch that's in there, you point that towards the back of the gun. On your cover plate, you put the on towards the front. And you just reinstall your two screws. Tighten that down, and then, yep, working like new again. So then we're going to get our rebuild kit. We're going to get our new cup seal, and this you'll see has a flat side and then a side that has the cup itself in it. And you want that cup pointing um, towards the top. So you want to install it in this direction, not this direction. So you want to just put a little bit of the um, molly coat itself on the inside of that seal just to help uh, get it on there. So it'll pop right on. Get that a little bit of that just to help these seals go on a little easier. It's, it's usually better just to put a little bit of the lubricant on there beforehand. Um, and then the Crytox lubricant is for um, the outside of the cup seal. As well as the new seal for the piston itself. Pop that on there. Then once you get that seal on there, you can put that back into the uh, glass barrel and you want to put it in the glass barrel with the one milliliter marking all the way to the front. The Crytox, you also want to just put a little bit in the body of the gun before you reassemble it. The two flat washers for either side of the glass barrel. Just want to put a little bit of the molly coat on those. And again, one goes right inside the gun itself. The other goes in the nose piece of the gun. Glass barrel goes in. Then you have this little notch there, which is going to line up with the other end of this activator. This does not need to be, you know, over tight and just hand tight is good on that. And if you move the adjuster forward a little bit, you'll see it'll push the actuator forward and it makes it a little easier to kind of hook the piston onto that. So you've got your little notch there, slide that over and then push it in. Then start adjusting your collar down. And once it gets close to tight, just touches, you want to rotate the barrel so it's about two-thirds of the way off from this line here. You want to get your numbers lined up on the glass so you can read them. And then in, you want to grab the whole thing as one and just give it a turn and then point this little quick connect here towards the, the valley of the gun. Take that hose and slide it right down the middle of it. and reconnect that to your quick connect. Make sure that's seated in there well. And there you have it. That's all the seals and, and uh, O-rings for the, the quick jet air itself. These other three 
um, O-rings that come with it. One is for your the cap on the uh, medicament bottle, and these are the two O-rings that would go on top of your compressed air cylinder. So once it's all back together, now we'll uh, go get the air tank regulator and bottle up here, and uh, we'll test it out. All right, so now that we've got the uh, quick jet air itself rebuilt and lubricated, we've got it hooked back up to our air tank and a little bit of water so we can test it out, just to make sure everything's working well. So we're just gonna You can see it's getting primed, so it's all primed up, so it's working properly. And then last, what we want to do is give it a little pressure test, so we closed our, our little needle that came with it, and we just hit on, and we just look for leaks. No leaks, the piston's not moving at all, so that means it's, it's, all the seals are, are holding well and that's uh, not leaking at all. all right, so depressurize it, and then we can open the valve and then just take all the water out of it so it's just air in the system. All right, so now we're gonna put these last couple seals in. Um, we're gonna replace the seal inside the bottle cap. So just gonna pop that old one out. Slide the new one over. And then with the little Allen wrench that comes with the kit, you're just gonna get that into its groove. Just gonna tamp it down a little bit. And that one's all set. And then the two on the air tank. We're gonna take our regulator off. regulator aside and then there's two o-rings right on the top of this Come on. And then again we just want to put a little bit of the molly coat on the o-rings to help them get on there a little easier You just want to make sure it's entirely in one of the grooves and not in both of them. So that bottom one's on there good. And the top one slides right on. And that's it. Then you've got all your old seals and all the new ones are installed. All right, thanks for watching and joining us in uh, rebuilding the equipment. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to go to visit arborjet.com or reach out to your uh, local technical manager. Thank you.